Hello friends, today I will show you something special. I have purchased a logic analyzer. So I thought why can't I make an unboxing video. I haven't ever done an unboxing video in my life. So hope my friends will bear me. First I will explain what a logic analyzer is. This is basically used for analyzing many logic signals simultaneously. The device which I purchased can be connected to a laptop and we can see signals from the microcontroller. This figure shows the output we will get in the laptop. There you can see several signals. Here we can see timing relationship of each signal. For example, when first signal starts, we can understand the logic state of other signals. Or we can also examine state of the second signal when the first signal goes low. Hope you have understood. This device will be useful when we are working with timer modules, PWM signals, communication protocols like I2C etc. So let's do the unboxing part. I have purchased this from electronicscom.com for 683 rupees. The package is not so good, but that's okay. We got another wrap inside. Let us open that also. So this is our device. Look wise, not good, but uh, functional wise, we have to see. So we got the logic analyzer device and we got uh, some female to female jumper wires. These are uh, required to connect our board to logic analyzer. There is a USB mini cable to connect the logic analyzer to laptop. Now to see the signals in our laptop, we have to download an analyzing software. We can go to the Salio website. I have provided the link in description. Click here to download the tool. This is a portable application so you don't need to install that. This will be downloaded into your uh, downloads directory so we have to revisit this path later. Next we can connect the logic analyzer to laptop. Now we should check if it is getting detected by the PC automatically. For that we can open device manager. Click on uh, start menu and type device manager or otherwise right click on start menu and click on device manager. This option is also good. We have got a new unknown device here, so means its driver is missing in my PC. So we can install that. You can find out the drivers in the downloaded logic directory. So you go to downloads and inside the logic uh, tool software, there is the drivers folder. You can uh, select and copy this path. Now go back to the device manager window and uh, right click on the unknown device item. And there you can click on the update driver. Now in this window you can uh, click on the browse my computer for drivers. Now you can paste the driver location there. It seems it has found what it wants. Now that unknown device disappeared and we can see the driver name here. So successfully we have finished the driver installation. Let us take this into action. I have one program already loaded in my Nokia G474 board. It produces 50% uh, duty cycle waveform in one of its timer channel. Total time period I have given is 1 millisecond. So let's observe it using our logic analyzer. For that we have to connect nuclear board timer channel to the logic analyzer. We can use jumper wire for that. There are 8 channels in the device, channel 0 to channel 7. And there are 2 ground points are also they have provided. I am connecting onto channel 0. Logic analyzer ground I am connecting to nuclear ground here. Now we can launch logic analyzer software. So click on the start button here. It will draw the waveforms on channel 0. Yeah, now we can click on stop button. Now double click on the screen to zoom the waveform. There you see, it's showing pulse width of the waveform. 50% of 1 millisecond wave is uh, around 0.5 millisecond. So we can see the same here. And there are also this uh, cursor option available. We can use that to measure it manually. Yeah, you can see the values here. It is close to 1 millisecond. Perfect. Everything is working. So in further videos, I will be using this tool and you can see more of its benefits. So that's a wrap. Again, we will continue our Master River Controller series with an interesting video. Let's meet soon. Bye.